Hello, in this video, we are going to learn more about CSS style rule. Each CSS style rule consists of a selector and a declaration block. The selector points to the HTML element you want to style. The declaration block contains one or more declarations separated by semicolon. Each declaration includes a CSS property name and a value separated by a colon. A CSS declaration always ends with a semicolon and declaration blocks are surrounded by curly braces. For example, all key elements will be center aligned with the red text color. As we know, the selector points to the HTML element you want to style. There are many different types of selectors. First is universal selector or star which applies to the entire document or all elements of an HTML document. So in this document, since we have used a universal selector, the entire document would be center aligned with a red text color. Next is element selector. The element selector selects elements based on the standard HTML element name like P, H1, H6, etc. So in this example, since we have picked selector H1, this style rule will apply to all H1 elements in the HTML file. Next is ID selector, which uses unique ID attribute of an HTML element to select a specific element. Here the selector of the style rule is written with a hash character followed by the ID of the element. In this example, we have used ID1 as the selector and it will apply to wherever this ID is used in the main HTML document. Next is the class selector which selects elements with a specific class attribute. Here we write a period or a dot character followed by the name of the class. These selectors such as element, ID and class can be grouped or applied together as required. For example, if you have multiple elements where you want to apply the same style, you can just separate them by comma. You can also have multiple styles to apply on the same element. If you want to apply more than one class selector to given element, you can add the same in HTML file. In our next video, we are going to learn the various CSS properties that we are going to use to format the document.